There is sad news, bro. My goat, Woody. Really, it's Leo's goat. The goat, Woody. I'm not even going to hold you, bro. I'm not even going to hold y'all, chat. He's gone, bro. He's gone. 17 viewers in this thing? Oh, my God, chat. Let's get some likes, subs. Let's get everything in here, gang. Let's go. Nah, but chat, Woody is gone, bro. He's gone for life. Did you sell him? Yes. Yeah, no, Richard, I sold him, bro. Nah, he didn't get caught lacking. Nah, he didn't get... Well, he, I caught him lacking because, bro, guess what? So... When I first got him, he was cool, right? He was a tiny ass baby and he was cool as fuck. But he, uh, I fed him with a bottle since he was a baby. So let me just start from the beginning. I love goats and I've been having goats for a minute, right? But the freaking, like I've been having them and then I sell them. Been having them, then I sell them. Like you feel me? So been having them and I sell them and then um I I really was like wanting another I wanted to get a bunch of them right again but I was like just gonna start out with one so I was like yeah I'm gonna get this little bottle baby he I saw him on Facebook Marketplace there's this farm that I follow on there that's like literally I'm not joking like it's right down the street from my house and I was like it said bottle baby <laughs> hundred bucks I was like nice I'm gonna get it. And it was Woody, and he looked sick, bro. And he was naturally pulled, which is where they don't grow horns. So it was good to have him around Leo. I was like, damn, bro, let me just get this one. Like, he looked fine. I'm not even going to lie. So I went down the street, and I picked him up, right? But he was a bottle baby. So you have to feed him two to three times a day. So I start feeding, bro, two to three times a day. He gets big. I'm fucking with him. And then he gets off the bottle. Well, so I put him in the pen with my horse to be like my horse's friend. So I didn't have any other goats. I put him in the pen and then he keeps escaping, bro. Like he's so small and goats are known for this. They escape anywhere they can. They escape. He keeps escaping every day, bro. And it's not that big of a deal because he wouldn't run away at the beginning. It wasn't that big of a deal, right? But then he starts shitting all over my carport. Like he starts shitting all over my carport. And I'm like, nah, bro. All right, I can live with that, I guess. A little shit on the carport, whatever. I mean, fuck it. Like, we can deal with a little shit on the carport. Well, then he keeps breaking out while I'm working out in my barn. He starts running inside there while I'm working out, shitting all over my barn floor, shitting all over everything. Then, I don't have any air conditioner in the stream room. I'll put him up, and when I go live, he'll come in here and just start shitting all over the floor in here. I don't know why, but this dude was a literal shit machine. I swear to God, this dude was a shit machine. So, he's shitting everywhere. All over my fuck, like, everywhere. I wish he would just stay in the pen. It wouldn't have been a big deal, but he keeps shitting everywhere, bro. Then, uh... My neighbor, my neighbor is like a super Mexican from Mexico. Like, he's a cool-ass dude. He, like, calls me. He's like, hey, Blake. Blake, come here. I'm like, oh, what's up, Kante? What you want, bro? And he's like, Blake, I hate to even say this, Blake, but your little goat, little goat, keep coming into my fence, and he keeps shitting. And then he eat, he eat my roses. He go to my rose, he go to my rose, my rose garden. He eat every single rose in the garden. I'm like, oh, fuck. My bad, Conte. My bad, bro. I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to keep him in, bro. Like, I got you, bro. Like, that's my bad. I'm sorry, bro. He's like, yes, Blake. Please keep him in your land because I, he cannot keep eating my roses. I'm like, all right, my bad, bro, my bad. So I, I keep trying to keep him locked up. Keep trying, keep trying. He just keeps escaping, bro. He just keeps escaping every day. 
and there's nothing I can do about it. No fence can contain him, bro. We should have named this dude David Blaine, Harold Houdini, Harold Houdini, Chris Angel, Mind Freak. I don't know something because this dude is like a fucking magician, bro. Like, I'm not joking, dude. And so. He keeps escaping. He keeps eating my neighbor's roses. He keeps going in the street where he's going to get hit by a car. I'm like, oh my God, dude. Like, and all this, I keep letting it happen, even though it's pissing me off and it's getting me in trouble with my neighbors and shit. I just keep letting it happen because I really liked him. Well, then, Tylee has a fucking 2022 black BMW. It was a bad mother effer, bro. Like, we just traded it off. Partially because of what I'm about to tell y'all, bro. As I told you guys, he keeps going in the carport. That's where Tylee parks the black BMW. And, bro, it's an expensive car. She uh, was, like, inside one day, like, like, messing with the babies, and I was outside. And get this, bro. Woody literally goes to the... Like, I walk outside, and I see Woody... Just sitting on top of the BMW. I'm like, nah, nah. Ain't no way, nah. He literally jumped on top of it. And he was just kicking it up there. I look up there, there's fucking goat shit. All over the top of it, all over the back window. There's literally goat shit spread across that whole thing. I'm not even gonna lie, bruh. I'm not even gonna lie. He shitted all over my whole property. Carport, stream room, barn, everything. Then he shits on the on the fucking beamer. Like, nah, bruh. Like, nah, bruh. We are not going for that, Woody. And I look at the car, and it was dirty, right? It was all dirtied up. It was dirty as hell, but I looked, and I was like, no, bro. He scratched the fuck out of it. Like, he scratched the fuck out of the whole car. All the top of it, the whole hood... The whole quarter panels, everything, dude. Everything, dude. Lil Buddy smashed the BMW, bro. 2022 BMW, all black. I'm like, no, bro. I didn't even tell Tylee. I just got him off there. And, bro, I got him off there. And, like, literally, I was so mad, bro. Like, I was literally so mad. I wanted to jaw, bro. I wanted to jaw, buddy. I'm not even going to lie, bro. And... Yeah, it's wrapped for a little, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. It was wraps after this, bro. You should have made Woody into dinner. Well, he was a milk goat. He's a Nigerian dwarf. So the meat on those, you don't really eat them. But anyway, like, okay, and also, you know how, okay, so he's fucked the whole BMW up. And also, you know how my wheels and my truck stick out really far? He would jump onto my wheels and rub his body on the truck, scratching that shit. He really didn't get my truck, but... He would do that, and I'm like, nah, it's over for bro. After he fucked the BMW up, I'm like, nah, hell nah, nah, we not going for this, bro. Like, nah, we not going for this. So, sad to say this, but we had to let Woody go, bro. And I'm really sad about it because Leo loved him, bro. Leo plays with him almost damn near every day, bro. Like, he loves that goat, bro. Like, he gets home and he says, Woo we? Woo we? Woo we? If y'all don't know, Leo is my son, eco baby. He gets home, Woo we? Woo we? Woo we? Woo we? So, I was sad about it, but I had to post Little Buddy for sale. And so, I, I we posted him on Facebook, and he got sold for $125. Leo won't remember him, though? Nah, well, get this, bruh. We posted him for sale today, and he sold the first day we posted him because he's he looks badass, bro. He's cool as fuck, but he's a little shit ass. He's a little shit ass, and we post him for sale. He gets sold the first day, so I put him in a big ass dog crate, and I put him in the back of my truck, and I load him up, and we text the lady like, yeah, we're going to bring him right now, but it was 530 exactly, so I had to go get... Leo from daycare. So I pull up to Leo's daycare and, he, and Woody's in the back. Or the fuck, he, he goes like this. Bah, bah. And he's back there. They're like, hey, y'all, you got a little baby goat in the back of your truck? I'm like, yeah, I do. 
And I bring Leo out, and Leo hears him, and he says, Woody, Woody. He was so excited that Woody was coming to get him from daycare, bro. And I put Woody, in, or I mean, I put Leo inside of his car seat, and he's just looking at Woody in the back of the truck because he's rear facing. Woody, Woody. Little did bro know, this is Woody's last fucking ride, homeboy. Woody is gone, homie. I'm not gonna lie, Woody is out of there, bruh. So we drive Woody to his new home, and Woody even got me back. Woody even got me one more time on the last time I even touched him bro because I had him in the back of the truck and uh in that cage and he shitted all in the cage bro he shitted and pissed all in the cage bro so first things first that's sloshing all in the bed of my truck fucking shit and piss all over it then I get Woody out of the cage and he has piss and shit all over him because he, he was laying in that shit or something. I don't know, but he was pissy and shitty. And I had to get him out of the cage to take him to his new owner at her house. And he has it all over his feet. He starts, like, kicking me on my shirt, like, getting fucking goat shit and fucking goat piss on my shirt. It's this same shirt, bro. It's it. I'm, I'm probably smelling like goat piss and goat shit. Like, like nah, gang, like... Bro, yeah, it was a goodbye gift, bro. He had to get me one more time, bro, before I fucking took him, bro. So I get there, and the lady's like, oh, my God, he's so cute. He's so cute. I'm like, yeah, well, he looks cute, but he's a fucking shit ass. Like, have fun with this little dumbass. And <laughs> I put him in her fence, and they gave me the 125. I burned off the scene, bro. I burned off the scene. Later, Woody. Later, homie. Okay, but yeah, I was sad because I really liked him. I really liked him. And he was he, he was friendly and everything. Like, he was really nice, but he just was bad, bro. Like, he was a little shit ass. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, he was bad, bro. And now Leo, Leo, he probably will forget about him. But he's he's gonna come home looking for him a few times, like woo we woo we, and he's not gonna be there. So yeah, chat. Woody the goat is gone, bruh. Woody the goat is gone, homie. I'm not even gonna lie, bruh. Did you put in the Facebook Marketplace description that he shits a lot? <laughs> nah, nah, I didn't include that, bro. I didn't include that he escapes. I didn't include that he shits. I didn't include that he scratches up cars. I didn't include that he does a lot of bad shit, bro. He does a lot of bad shit. And no, nah, I didn't include none of that, bro. I burned their asses on that. I ain't gonna lie. Burned their asses, bro. But, yeah, chat, I just had to give y'all the rundown of that because Woody the Goat is gone, bro. Woody the Goat is gone, bro.